Have you gained back all the weight you have lost? In today's video, we'll talk about how to lose the weight. So keep on watching for my five steps that will get you back on track to losing weight for the very last time. And I mean the last time. Hi, I'm Sylvester the Weight Loss King and welcome back to the channel and a big welcome to all the new people here today. I lost 80 kilos 18 months ago and it took me 18 months to lose the weight. This channel is to help you lose weight for the very last time. It does not matter how many times that you have regained the weight and lost the weight and regained the weight and lost the weight. I am passionate that I can help you lose the weight for the very last time so you can keep on living your best life. Getting back to your goal weight will require some fine tuning your eating habits and become more passionate about the way you move and this will set you up for long term weight loss success. You don't get the same high from losing weight the first time but you'll come back to the best version of yourself ever than before. So get back on track with my five proven steps fast and safely so you can start losing weight for the very last time. Step one, track everything. And I mean everything. Once you get to your goal weight is to continue to track. Why not? It's not hard and it's a routine and it becomes a great habit. I do believe tracking is the key to both weight loss and maintenance. Tracking is dedication and time goes on, you'll end up very happy yourself and be more aware what goes in your mouth. Step two, aim for a sustainable goal. People regain weight is to compensate for the deprivation they experience during a diet and during this time, we're super, super strict. So what I want you to do is something different today. I want you to do a step-by-step -step goal setting. You might have in mind that you want to lose 50 kilos or 50 pounds, but why not do it five at a time? Lose five kilos or lose five pounds. Stop, let it maintain, get used to it, and then continue on. Step three, lifestyle change. Changes that you can accept and do for a lifetime. You need to adopt a more moderate approach the second time around or third time around or fifth time around and focus on being healthy and strong and happy at a weight and size that you can maintain and live for the rest of your life. And this is what we call a lifestyle where when you do achieve your weight loss goal, then it just continues on. Step four, I want you to take your camera, your phone, and take a photo of yourself right now and place it where you have to look at it all the time. I know you've done this before, but this is to remind yourself that you'll never go back to your old habits. You never go back to your old self. It doesn't matter how many times that you have done this or regain the weight. It is so powerful that those times that you want to give up, you will see it in front of you and that will give you the momentum to keep on going no matter what. Step five, my favorite one. I know you've done this before, but I want you to do it again. And that is to revisit your why. Why you want to lose weight is what will get you going, especially throughout those tough and boring times when everyone out there is drinking and eating and having a good time but please do it for yourself. It is the most powerful piece of motivation or resource that you're ever gonna have and you need to have it with you by your side. Why am I losing weight? Revisit your why and make it deep and personal and powerful for you to keep on moving forward. Slow and steady is the way to go. Enjoy the process. Living your best life starts today on the journey, not when you get to the end. 
The most common thinking is that once you lost the weight, the hard work is over. No, it's not. It's the beginning and it shouldn't be hard work because you were enjoying the process into a lifestyle. I've seen it repeatedly. People reach their goal weight, loosen up their belt or their behaviors and eat foods previously on their list. That's a bad relationship. Don't fall into this common trap. Food is the enemy. Just make better choices and a better lifestyle. Remembering how long it took to gain the weight may give you that perspective of keeping it off. This doesn't mean that you have to be perfect for the next year or two years or however long it takes you because we're not perfect. You'll face moments where you'll lose motivation or fall off the exercise wagon. It will happen, but what's important is how you react to it and how you come back from it. So please, if you have reached or you are close to reaching weight loss goal, work harder to maintain. Otherwise, you'll find your back yourself to square one and I don't want that to happen. People who reach their weight loss goals aren't perfect, not perfect at all. We are consistently doing things, even if it's wrong or small, seemingly insignificant. We plan for our food. It only takes one or two minutes on the day. I know that life is hectic, but instead of saying that I don't have time, we want to keep our concrete behaviors going more than ever, and we don't want to be perfect. So do what's important for you. The difference between someone who reaches their weight loss goal and someone who doesn't is tiny. It's really, really small. One person always has a goal to leave one or two bites behind. Even if they catch themselves overeating, and another will clean the plate because they blew it. Don't blow it. You can do this. Be the person who keeps going instead of the person who's striving for perfection. No perfection, just get messy. You have all the tools needed to lose weight again and again and again and lose weight for the very last time. I know you can do this. You've done it before and you can do it again because you are perfect. I really hope you enjoyed this video about the five steps needed to lose weight again after you've regained it. My next video We'll be talking about what steps are needed so you'll never regain the weight and you'll keep it off forever. So I'll go more into depth about weight loss management. If you feel that this video that you liked and it's helped you and you got good value from it, please consider in subscribing to the channel so that way you can keep up to date when the next videos come along. And to help you more, if you go up here, you can download my I think it's up here. You can download my free weight loss planner. It's, it helps you with your six months of logging in your food, exercise, how you're feeling, recipes. It's a PDF format so you can do it on your computer or you can be old fashioned like me and print it out and write things in there as well. Also, if you click down below, there's a link there where you can click onto and book in the time and have a complimentary chat with me. We can do it via Skype, even though I'm down under in Australia, I would love to connect with you and talk about how I can help you lose weight for the very last time as well. Once again, my name is Silvestro, the Weight Loss King, and I really hope that this has given you an insight on how to lose weight after regaining it and giving you the steps that I have been using for the last 18 years. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, they are fantastic, they do a lot of work. I speak from the heart and experience what I have done and what I feel that will work for you because they're proven steps. I feel your pain, I know what you're going through and I want you to lose weight for the very last time. Thank you so much for watching this video and please, share it with those people that you love that would need to hear this so they can get back on track and lose weight for the very last time. Thank you.